my history has been taking my childhood interests in natural history and sort of forcing it through my lens, which is very much about telling stories about how the planet has suffered at the hands of humans. And, you know, I think humans are everywhere on this planet in terms of, you know, CO2 emissions or plastic and invasive species. So um, there's a human presence everywhere. As a child, I haunted places like the American Museum of Natural History in the Bronx Zoo and Central Park Zoo. I started to make drawings about these animals, the plants that I saw, and then I started collecting. In the 90s, I started to think about climate change, global warming, the genetic revolution that was coming. I started to see that we were really in a transitional crisis. Conflagration, it, it just seemed like there was a sense of urgency in terms of what I'd been working on. And as we all know, there's so many forest fires all over the world. And I thought it would be really fascinating to make a series of paintings that dealt with places that had never had to deal with forest fires before from all over the world, Central Africa, Indonesia, parts of China. So many of these places have had to face uh, fires for the first time uh, since the Pleistocene. My studio's in um, rural Connecticut, and there were a couple of days last summer where uh, smoke had come from parts of Western Canada and basically transformed the landscape into light. And I just thought, this is a project I have to do right now. I start the, the paintings by going on the internet and looking around. I might even look at individual forest fires. And they, they generally have names which is interesting, like storms. When I have a sense that the painting has a lot of potential and I don't want to learn anything more about it through the computer, that's when I'm ready to start painting. So I tend to start, um, these paintings go very, very fast once I've committed to them. They might take a day or two. The sessions start out on the wall uh, for a couple of hours and then I put them on the floor and start pouring stuff all over them. And there's a tremendous amount of um, chance and accident that goes along with them that almost creates a type of alchemy. I never really know what's going to happen with them. And that, to me, is one of the great joys of painting that um, I learn every time I make a painting or make one of these paintings, I, I, I'm so surprised and excited. And that, after 40 years, is a great place to be.